Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in the beautiful botanic garden of Valrabe on the French Côte d'Azur. And here is yet another fruit tree I never expected to see fruiting in Europe. I mean, we are here sandwiched between the Mediterranean and the Alps. You can already see the fog rolling over the foothills of the Alps. Well, we have quite a mild climate here, actually pretty much frost-free at the geographical latitude of southern Canada. And it's also dry enough to cultivate a lot of cacti and other succulents without much trouble. And here we have a couple cereos. They could all be cereos peruvianus or they could be some closely related species. The, uh, the systematics of cereos and of most cacti uh, genera are quite complicated. I'm not so amazed that they actually grow here. I'm not so amazed that they produce a ton of flowers, which will bloom in the evening, not at noon. I'm making this video at noon. What I'm amazed at is that they're actually producing a lot of fruit. Look, here there is quite a number of fruit. When we walk around and to two other specimens of the same genus or even the same species, as I said, with cacti, it's quite complicated. You can see here that those two cereos, this smallish one, which is less than three meters, and this four meter tall one here, they are both loaded with fruit. Unfortunately, the fruit are unripe for me. Those are maybe the tastiest cactus fruit I've ever tried. I ate them a lot of times in Arizona where they get pollinated by colibris. And for a long time I thought that in the Mediterranean maybe you can get those fruit if you find some animal to pollinate them or if you pollinate them by hand. But here, I don't think that they could have put a leather and pollinated them by hand because those those cactus, those cacti, they are surrounded by so many different succulents. It would be sheer suicide to put a ladder here and try to try to pollinate them by hand. But I hope you can see those numerous white, numerous green fruit on all of those cereus plants. Those will turn into delicious red cereus fruit. Basically something like a dragon fruit without the scales, but with a much better taste. It's basically like eating Italian granita ice cream. It's crunchy like crushed ice or like eating snow, but it's sweet and delicious. What a pity they are not ripe. This is yet another miracle I never expected to see here at the foothills of the Alps and at the latitude of southern Canada, but obviously it is possible and it's not even an exception. Not one specimen with a couple fruit, but all three big specimens of cereus here are loaded with those super tasty fruit, which unfortunately are not ripe yet. So folks, I hope you forgive me that I made another video without actually tasting the fruit, but having the plant and having the plant flowering and especially having the plant fruiting in this climate, on this geographical latitude, for me was reason enough to make this video. If you manage to find those tasty cereus fruits, the plants are quite common as ornamentals in yeah, southern Arizona, southern California, parts of Texas, and of course in big parts of Mexico. Don't miss out on the fruits, definitely try them. You will not regret it. Maybe the tastiest cactus fruit I've ever tried. What a pity. I cannot come back in a month or so and harvest those fruit. So folks, this was Cereus, most probably Peruvianus, from the beautiful botanic garden of Valrame on the French Côte d'Azur. 
pretty much on the same geographical latitude as the Canadian town of Toronto. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful botanic garden of Valrame. Just look at this cypress, one and a half meter stick. Have you ever seen a cypress one and a half meter stick in Europe? Yeah, this garden never stops to amaze me, never ceases to amaze me. Well, folks, yeah, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful botanic garden of Valrame. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.